Ever since the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High, schools across the nation have been trying to find ways to combat this kind of danger. We found members of John Carroll had ideas of their own on how we can improve our school security. Um, I think maybe like a security guard on staff, a uh, policeman. An armed personnel? Yeah, it would keep us a little safer. I think we can improve our school safety by improving how we deal with mental illness and how we deal with the stigmas of it because so many people just kind of disrespect the situation and don't realize that by not helping someone out or trying to be a friend of them you could potentially prevent something like that. I think to make the school more safe we need to talk about it. We need to have like a whole school conversation because just pretending like this isn't happening isn't going to make the problem go away. I have heard that there is going to be a big student-wide initiative um, or some kind of presentation for you all that you'll be able to um, also be briefed on it. I think that like for us to actually like realize how real it is and know what to do we would have to be like caught off guard in the situation and not always know when the lockdown drill is going to happen because then like we're just waiting for it like you're not going to know when a shooter is coming I think to make us actually like get the real experience of what could happen we need to put we need to be put in a real like situation where it could actually happen I think preparation is an interesting thing because anything can happen at that moment and even though we have kind of ingrained in our brains what would be a good response um, I think in a split second of a moment things can change. I will continue to be trained, I will continue to train others, continue to train our students. Our drills will evolve, our drills will change over time. We have a vulnerability at that front door, you know, and it's easy, it's not just a matter of Miss Fogarty pushing that button. The problem is, and this is part of the culture here, you all are very polite. So if somebody's behind you, you do what we train you to do as polite young people, you should hold the door. And these are part of the things we're going to have to train you, unfortunately. If you don't know the person behind you, you can't hold the door. Every person has to have permission to come in. While the story is still a work in progress, just this week all students received an email from Principal Tom Durking stating that we would be taking some additional steps to help with the safety of our school. All faculty and students are going through an active shooter training. We will also be getting armed guards that roam the interior and exterior of the building. The goal is to help make John Carroll a safer place for all. Reporting for JCTV News, I'm Matt Matrego.